Shalom, this is Aitari with Set Apart to Yah Apparel. I'm also the author of Primitive Sign Language, the Etymology of Ancient Biblical Hebrew. This video is being posted on Set Apart to Yah Apparel because I'm going to model for you and show off this pants that I've been advertising on my website for women. It's a wide pants and it looks like a skirt and I'm actually wearing it right now. But before I do, I want to let everybody know that there is a free Manakati class going on for those who purchase this book, Primitive Sign Language, the Etymology of Ancient Biblical Hebrew. Manakati is the name of the language many people refer to as Paleo Hebrew or Ancient Hebrew, but Manakati means from hand gestures. The origins of Ancient Biblical Hebrew is from hand gestures. And I have a free class that's being um, held on Telegram. Telegram is a is kind of like a social platform, but it's different. It's different and they don't police the truth. And there's a chat room and the chat room is only by invitation. If you purchase this book, um, I, you're welcome to join the class and we, we want you to come learn the, the language with us. And I just want to review quickly some lessons that I've already posted. I posted how to introduce yourself in Manakati. I've posted information concerning um, your tribe, how to say people's, the names of all the tribes of, of Yishara, which is Israel. I'm just quickly going through here the lessons that I've posted. How to introduce yourself. Let's see. Um, the meaning of the new moon, the meaning, um, why, why the symbols, what the symbols actually mean for the new moon. Let's see, and I've posted um, some information concerning um, the, the letters, the Manakati symbols, how it sounds and how you pronounce it and, and what the, the names of the symbols mean. Let's see, and I've, I've posted information on some hand gestures, Yah's name, and recently I posted concerning um, the word evening and morning. And many are not aware. Most people are not aware. If you have not joined this class, you don't even know that the so-called Hebrew word for evening and morning isn't evening and morning. It's actually sunrise and sunset. The only way you're going to know this information is by looking at the symbols. The symbols are indicating a sunrise and a sunset. And you're not going to find this information in the concordance. This is why I'm doing this free class, uh, you know, to answer questions and to let everybody know what's going on. Right now, I'm starting um, a lesson. It's a 31-day lesson on on how to read Genesis chapter one. We're going to review one verse a week, a day, one verse a day, and I'm going to break down each word and I'm going to have the people who read this book who, who are joining the class to help me break down each word. Basically, tell me what the words mean. It's an interactive class. I'm not going to just throw information. I, I require participation. At the end of 31 days, I do, I do desire and require people to, to make a video of them reading Genesis chapter one, because if 31 days of me reviewing each word and reading each verse, you should be able to read it yourself. And so I want to inspire people to pick up their Manakati Torah, which I also make available on primitive sign language back, dot com backslash shop. You can get this book and this book is not a translation. You have to read Manakati in order to understand. And so I am making lessons for you to be able to read this book for free on, on the app. So if you purchase this book and you're not yet, um, um, if you didn't get the invitation, please contact me, go to primitive language.com and click on the contact form, contact me. Cause I have to send you a direct link. Okay. So now let's get back. Let's, let's show off my pants. So if you notice these pants, it looks like this pants looks like a skirt. And this is the combination that I, I desired to wear this pants with it. Some people might like this outfit combination, some might not. This pattern is called brown floral, and this top is the Sagala tunic. And I just, I made a sash um, that doesn't, that goes with the pants, but it's not from the same material. And so the pants is very wide, as you can see. You know, it's very modest. It's more modest than a skirt. It looks like a skirt. Okay, and it's very roomy. And I just want to show you um, that it's pleated. Okay, and there is an elastic back. Now, I'm not going to show you more than that. I'm going to show you my customer's pants. You can get these pants in many colors. You can get these pants in many colors. My, I'm going to mail this out today for that customer that, that has this. This is your pants. Okay, I want to show everybody before I mail it. 
See the pleats? It's really, really, it's super comfortable. I, I mean, I am so comfortable in these pants. I got the elastic back, you know, and I, I, I do everything on this. Like I, I did three layers worth of elastic. Okay, and so that was white. She ordered it in natural. Okay. So those of you who are required to wear pants at your job, this is an alternative. Okay, you can get these pants in cotton and linen. Um, I believe this is my pants. Okay, so I, 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 I made this color and and um. And I made the green one, but I got a black one coming for myself. You know, it's been a while since I've had this, I've had the pants available online, no picture, no video. And so I was like, oh, the customers are probably wanting to know what it looks like. People have been buying these pants without even seeing them. And then once they buy it, they're constantly buying it. Once you buy these pants, you just, you just want more. Anyways, these are the pants. And that is the information concerning the Manakati language and, and, the Torah book, please join the class if you got the book. You know, I'm here to answer any questions for you before the official class. The, there's going to be official, more organized class on monocati.com. It's not ready. I'm working on the workbook for that class. The, before that class is up and running, right now, there's a free class, you know, on the app. that I use a telegram for the app, and you can join me if you purchase the book. Because the book is a presequit. You have to... In order for you to take part in the lessons, you have to have knowledge or have the book in your hand to reference. So that's why I require you to get the book because you're going to be lost. If you don't know um, what I'm talking about because you don't have the book and if you've never read the book, there's no point in you joining the class. That's why this um, the class is not going to be on YouTube. YouTube is not a class. YouTube is random videos. I require people to participate and that's the whole point of the class. So this video is to kill two birds with one stone. So, shalom.